Hi everyone and welcome to the I'm Rich or Poor Halloween special! Woo! This is the Halloween special and if you're wondering what the get up is right I didn't have time to Halloween special this I did about four years ago and I just grabbed it and I put it on because Sophie didn't want to put the wig on and I was like right well I need something can't you be wearing a black cape the it? wig wasn't wigging yeah it isn't but and it's really uncomfortable but it's Halloween and look at all our set isn't yes. the Halloween set cool to all those people that are listening right they're probably thinking what are you on about you should see the visuals <laughs> so Sophie what have you been up to this week oh Pumpkin carving. Me and Sophie went to pumpkin picking with our uh, niece and nephew. Yeah, that is so fun, and I always love it. Was it was so cute. So I've always wanted to though. go, but I've never had a child to. Take. I know, but it's, and it's a bit, it's a bit odd if I just go by myself. No, some people do. Couples go in it because couples yeah, but do. I, I, what couple am I? Yeah, going but with? couples go. You see people going that mums will go while the kids are in school or whatever. But obviously it's half term, so it was rammed. Plus, it's so muddy and rainy. I ruined my tra tra trainers. Fuming, they've gone in wellies. the bin. You gotta wear wellies. That's why I don't have wellies. I'm not, you know, not a nine year old. It's bad enough I'm drinking out of a sippy <laughs> cup, right? Yeah, I, I was like, what is this Shabazz? Like cordial? Like, what are we, five? Yeah, but I like didn't the have. the cup, cool. I, the cup the is juice. not cool. Love. The cup is not cute. cool. It's not cool at all. Oh, Scare King, Scare Not areas. so Scare, Scare Kingdom. I don't know why she didn't like it. I was screaming bloody murder. She was, if that stuff makes that, you scream. No, I just love horror. Guys, and I love imagine. Fear. Do you remember watching like the Poltergeist as a child? It used to like, make you like... It was scary. Scream. When you watch it as an adult, And now so you have watched Poltergeist. And yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what about The talking. footage is awful. <laughs> yeah. The acting is awful. It's not too bad. It is not scary. All oh, right, yeah, well, it's not scary. At all. But I think the thing is that things change as you get older and you stop like being yeah. scared of certain things. But like I find I find people jumping out at me and that whole thing scary. Like don't get me yeah, wrong. That, no, There's nothing I'm scared yeah. of. Parts of it were a bit like, oh, cuz it's Yeah. But the costumes yeah, but I think Come it's fascinating. On. So we live in the north, Blackpool do, where they close the theme park and then they just have stuff. That's what we That need would to go. be scary. And Camelot are doing it really Alton now. Towers, I think, do that. Yeah, Camelot are doing it as well, where they. But Alton Towers are too far. It's too south for us. We've got Blackpool too right south. Got I've actually corner. never been. Never been Alton Towers? Never. That was a sad little life, Jane. I know. We'll go, though. We'll go. We need to go and do the Camelot. But now one. I like fear for my life with like roller coasters. Mm -hmm. I went to Six Flags in America. We spent so much money on fast track tickets. My, I almost passed out on the Goliath. I oh, literally see, passed the, out. The American ride, abroad wow. rides are crazy, man. Oh yeah, like if I went to Morocco, I ain't getting them on rickety rides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, in Pakistan, we're not getting on those. The like, fun fair rides. Not too bad. The fun fair rides, I can't do. I can't. Like do fun someone's fair rides. like got a pedal bike and he's like powering the Ferris wheel. So we did. I uh, know, <laughs> literally in the back in it, we're gonna go to. So I booked it, Camelot. Yep. Because they one. have the proper scare. I mean, I hope it's scary. But I find, you know, in Blackpool, they have that passage of terror thing where you've got to walk through. Yeah. Terrifying. Where I've never been to that, but you've told me it's scary. May, ask anyone. I, do you know what happens to me every single time? And the same thing happened to me at Scare Kingdom was I fall over. I can't explain it why. <laughs> I always fall every single time. I'll be screaming so much. That, one time I went with my friend. Clumsy. No, one time I went with my friend and there was a, the, so she's on a bed. You walk into the room and the other side of the door is around the bed. So it's a square room yeah. and the bed's here. So you have to walk around her to get out, which means that you're against the wall and she starts jumping out of bed and trying to, when you go to the end of the bed, like exorcist she starts, yeah, it's the exorcist. She's, a, she's dressed as the exorcist. When I got around, we were already creeping around this wall and then all of a sudden, when we got to the curve and she jumped off the bed, I pushed my friend, but I didn't realise I pushed her out the... She smacked her head into the one of the sides. I left her. But as I left her, I went to run. She fell on the floor and I tripped over and I was on the floor. <laughs> so dumb, honestly. It happens to me every single time I fall. But my God, I do scream in it. That was a, that was eventful for you lot. But I don't care. I'm scared. I'm scared. If, oh God, if you want entertainment, come watch the buzz. Like Adam was like, he said that to me. He was like... I don't even find this stuff scary. I just laugh at the fact that you're screaming that much. That I love horror, though. I love yeah. Halloween. It's just my favourite time of year. And I know some people feel some type of way about it. But I love Halloween. It's so fun. I like the cutesy side of Halloween. <laughs> she was going to hate me for this. But That's I autumn, like... though, isn't it? You mean autumn? No, Halloween. But what's cute about Halloween? Like, dressing up cute. I'm sorry. I love the scary Halloween. Speaking of, what, what you're watching... watching? This week's what you're watching since it's a Halloween special. We ain't all watching nothing. I'm asking you, what is your favourite Halloween movie? Let's put it in three, 
two, one. Hocus Pocus. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. Do you know 100%. that Hocus Pocus was actually a commercial failure? Like it was a box office bomb. It didn't but do well. It's brilliant. It's but built up a following. I love. I used to watch it on repeat as a child. I lo- Not I, even in Halloween. I know. I I watch it every Halloween on Halloween day. So if Halloween's on like on a Wednesday, which it is this year, I will watch Hocus Pocus. And on that day, we watched Hocus Pocus too when it came out together. But wow. Wow. Oh, disappointing. My other one, right? And I'm, I, my, this is my childhood one was Halloween Town. I love a Halloween I've Town. I've never watched that. Oh, you are. I can't believe Haunted Don't, I, Mansion. I, I watched. Abs- that's not a Halloween movie. It is a Halloween Absolutely film. Absolutely not. It's a horror film. It's not a Halloween movie. It's not. It's not a Halloween movie. With Eddie Murphy. Yeah, it's not a Halloween movie, love. Sorry. It doesn't center around Halloween. Halloween Town. Right. Halloween Town, the one that is so it's a Disney movie, but it's so fun. But what, that's like the one with the girl and her dad and they go trick or treating. No. Halloween Town Which is where this girl whose grandma comes from, they live in Halloween Town and she jumps on she sneaks on the bus to go to Halloween Town and it's an entire town that's just Halloween themed. So everybody's that like this is like that's what they look like normal. Yeah. So witches look like witches, skeletons just walk around. It is brilliant. And there's this guy, the bad guy, who's sucking the lives out of like Halloween Town residents and they're becoming all the and then they're like, you What's happening to Halloween five? Town? No, it's just, they're just becoming like grey and it's grey. so good watch Halloween Town if you've not seen it you like the sort of cutesy Halloween or do you prefer like pure horror with Halloween no I think I don't, I'm not horror. even a, I'm not even a yeah you're like a scary film type I of guy love horror movies what's scary your favourite horror movie I don't have a favourite you must have watched something and gone I've oh, watched yeah, that's loads the top, of horror top films one. the one that is quite scary the one that really scared me was The Nun yeah I think it's quite scary that but I think it's more scary. jump scary than scary yeah, it's more. I thriller. watched that uh, Blink one. The, not Blink one. What's it called? The in the one where you turn the light off. There's a a figure that lives in the shadows. Oh my god! Yeah, I've watched that one. That, I can't remember its name. Yeah, it's terrified me that movie. No, I'm not a horror movie girl. Well, that's it. I'm so, a rom com chick. I don't get it when people are like I don't do horror movies because everyone can enjoy horror movies. Rom coms no, are I very just specific don't like being genre. Scared. What's your favorite like? So what's your favorite slasher movie? Well, like Scream. Like Scream. It's top, Scream it? is it, yeah. I like Psycho. Have you ever seen Psycho? No, the old uh, Alfred Hitchcock one. See, I'm cultured, you see. I don't think there's been a good, good horror movie. For ages. In a while. They don't the make them like right. they used to make Insidious. It. I've watched Tip Insidious. I've actually window. come to sit, think of it. I've watched a few. You've I've seen a Annabelle. lot. You watch them a lot with me. Yeah, I've watched quite a few of them. My sister's obsessed with horror I films. I love horror movies. Her and my sister-in-law will go to the cinema and just watch horror films ever since they were younger. I didn't ask you what your favourite Halloween movie is. Apart from Hocus Pocus, because everyone's Hocus Pocus. Uh, like I said, I'm not really a Halloween girl. Yeah, but you must watch Halloween movies. Hocus Pocus is number one for me every right. Halloween. Nothing else that you've seen that's Halloween-y? No. When I was younger, like, Poltergeist I used to be obsessed with as a kid. <laughs> Which is weird because as a child, why would, why would you, you want to watch that? Why would you watch that? Because as a kid that Polter- gets sucked in yeah, the TV. Yeah, Poltergeist 1 and 2. I'd watch it on repeat. What about um, but the, the new, new one? The new one now. Nah. Flop. Did you ever see Carrie? Yeah, I did watch Carrie. Carrie's, Carrie's good, good. The new one. The old one flop. and the new one. Yeah, was the new good. one was all right. The really? old one was better. I liked the it. The new one was good because the actor, uh, actresses Grace, were good. Yeah, yeah and, and the mum as well. She was brilliant as well. Yeah. But the old one was. Like, even the new scream is not like old scream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're not, but we're boycotting the new scream anyway because, you know, boycott, boycott. I remember there was a scary film me and Shabazz went to watch. That was in the brilliant. Cinema. It, it was, was a Bollywood inspired. Scary film. Munya. Wow. It was Munya, innit? Is it it was a little was ghost. That... My God. Bollywood I had to don't read do subtitles scary as well. Bollywood don't do scary movies as and... well. Although uh, Street's really good. It was just funny. I found it yeah, hilarious. Yeah, but the Bollywoods always do comedy bo- uh, horror, so they always do comedy. I love a good comedy horror where, like, it's. I'll tell you what, I'll never ever watch. Do you know the Turkish scary movies? <gasps> Never. Do you know why? It's because I've it's, seen it's religious. It's like it's got Islamic yeah. stuff in it. I don't play no, with that. I've seen mm-hmm. that. I've seen that. That it's called, I ain't messing around with no religious. Listen. Scary. There's one called Darby, mm-hmm. right? And it's on Netflix. And that is when it's the cave. And, and my friend like, tell me to watch that, and I'm like, not mm-hmm. a she's chance. like, it's brilliant. I was no. like, no, I'm not watching that. Not for me. Yeah. We have to do what this podcast is all about. What's this podcast all about? I'm rich, your boy. Exactly. The podcast. <laughs> The tour, which is on sale right now, links in the bio. Find well, get it. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Exactly, and the book is also available. Get I'm your Richard book. Paul. Get your book. Get your book. The book. Um. So, by I'm Richard Paul is got to be all about Halloween decor. 
So I saw a video and I, sh- I showed you yep. that woman with the decor outside of her. The amount of money that has been it's spent. Ridiculous. Did you see the size of that skeleton? The giant. The skeleton is the size of the house. It is ridiculous. But I think that's so cool. But you must be. These are rich, all Americans rich. because British people don't do it like that. We However, don't. there's a lady on my street. Who, oh, yeah, she does it. She goes all out. But I, I never understand that. I think she's a foster carer. Oh, wait, okay, so she's not poor then. I never really understand. People that don't have money, which is fine, will spend a bunch of money to live up to a hype of like de- doing decorations. That's how you live like a proper father. That's a pure pop. That's pure pop moves, isn't it? Yeah, like, that's yeah. pop moves. Pop moves is don't pay like bill and don't put, pay put like Halloween bill, decoration. Put up. Halloween decor. Up. <laughs> Everyone knows that because priorities. I'm I'm sorry. Of just because I'm poor, I don't. I'm not allowed yeah. to live. A... I can yolo. <laughs> yeah. My light bill might be going off. There might be no food in the other uh, uh, cupboard. Yeah, but at least I can watch TV. Yeah, exactly. On a flat screen. I find rich people are ridiculous. Like the Kardashians when they do these big. It's overconsumption. That's where I'm. Uh, what I mean yeah. by it. Like the, I don't mind. Like I know we've done the deco and it's part of the Halloween vibe. And you might do a party or whatever. Yeah. We're obviously filming a sh- set, so we've got all this which we borrowed. But the thing is. When you've gone out there and you spent so much money on decor to do your whole house up, like the way the Kardashians spend it. Kim Kardashian decorated her house for Halloween and it's wild. With a huge spider outside and then a tunnel as her front door full of spider webs. With even a trampoline inside. We transformed our library into a trampoline room. <laughs> the spider webs went throughout her entire house and even had creepy sounds constantly playing. Can you guys hear the music? There's spiders that drop down and even a big one inside of the house as well. With a lot of people saying this is proof she has way too much money. Always goes all out with that. But that's not, it's not a good, don't. don't it's not good, but it's cool. It's not cool at all. It's cool to look it's at. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. Because no, we're not, I'm not saying it's cool to do. I'm saying it's cool to look at. It's it's ridiculous to look at. It's like when you dumb. look at it, you think, oh, what's she doing this year? Oh, no. I wonder what she is doing this year. I hate so. I honestly de- despise you. I think having this whole sort of like we were talking about in last week's episode, every season changing it because I th- I tell you what the problem is with that is that your that money could have been well spent on something else. Rich people aren't spending the money where it needs to be spent. But here's the thing: if Are we they? if we shame them, like I'm rich or poor does, yeah. you are gonna think twice about where you spend that money, love. No, if you are shamed, no, it. trust me, you get shamed into it, you're gonna think it's. So that's why sometimes I believe in shaming. Well, what about when when Oprah? And the rock came on and said, Everybody, why don't you donate <laughs> to this cause? Listen, not and Halloween, they're telling but yeah. the the majority of the population to go on when they could have just done it between them. They, they wouldn't even have scratched their surface. Nah, they could have just, like you donate. Why are you asking me to donate? The billionaire. You're being paid to ask me to donate. Absolutely. <laughs> the billionaire could have just written 10% check, right? Absolutely. And you would have been... Yeah, it, it wouldn't even... It wouldn't we would have been done. Yeah, exactly. And then you say... And, like a tenor to And work. like for you to... That's what it is. Like, so I just think... Like I don't... Like I, like I said, you do what... You do you, right? It's the overconsumption that bothers me. It's the... And then people wanting to live up to the hype that bothers me. Because once you create this trend of like, oh, we need to do Halloween. We need to have like these big arches. Like, I'm sorry, but what Chloe did for her daughter first day of school, you don't need to be doing big massive things because people then live up to that... Now everybody's throwing big parties for first day of school. I get it. You might want to do a yeah. Halloween party, but this idea of I need to decorate all my fall decor. So now everyone's like, oh, we need fall decor. We need aesthetic all the Halloween are full decor. Of fall stuff now. And like, that's what I mean. But people Autumn. are buying it. Autumn. People are buying it, aren't And they? this is a thing, though, but why? Because people are sheep. So that's what my, what bothers me. But I think spending that ridiculous amount of money, like having a 10 foot like skeleton. skeleton and all that. Do you know what we need to do next Halloween? We need to go to America to trick or treat. Just go see. Oh my god, yeah. I'd love to go down to somewhere. We need to do that. Wear an outfit and go down. We need down. to go to like California. But do adults trick or treat? Yeah, they do. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. Or, go, not, or go to a house party, like a sub suburbs house, some sort of like rich housewife like house a party. Halloween party. Yeah, like yeah. how Bree, uh, like Bree, Heidi Klum's. how Edie did it. Uh, yeah, not Edie. Uh, how uh, Bree did it. Yeah, Bree used to uh, Bree used to do house parties. Yeah, we it? need Bree to do some house parties. Desperate housewives, by the way, just FYI. Yeah. But yeah, so um. That's the I'm Rich or Poor video of the week. It is the Halloween decor. So on today's episode of I'm Rich or Poor, oh. here's your giant six foot skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon. The controversial opinion is, I don't have a controversial opinion. Or maybe I do actually. Yes, I do. You always I have a controversial refuse, opinion. I <laughs> refuse and I think it's absolute diabolical. Halloween 
is not about being cutesy. Mm, cutesy. I cannot stand Halloween people that like you. The way you dress for Halloween, vile. I think I'm no, sorry. The cute outfits. They're not. Cute. I'm sorry. Cute that's not what Halloween's outfits. about. It's not about being cute outfits. Yeah, but I don't want to be gory. No, I hate it. You don't have to be gory, cute. but it's still ghostly. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was if a vampire you, last year. Anyone that goes out to Halloween with a black dress on and then puts a bit of fangs here and puts a bit of blood here and puts their uh, flashy makeup on. Too. I mean, Shabazz. Does Halloween like no one else? That's Halloween. Like every Halloween, Halloween for the past like fifteen years. I never Was did it last like 10 year. Years? Yeah, I never, I never did. I want to be like uh, Heidi Klum. When I like yeah, get yeah. my own house, yeah, I want to be like Heidi Klum. I'm gonna throw a big Halloween party. I keep telling him to throw a Halloween party, but here we are. I would love to, but we're here, Um I would love to have like an annual Halloween do. Yeah. And but I'd love to have full prosthetics done because I do all my own stuff myself, right? So I'll flash up the pictures. All of these looks I've done myself. What's been your favourite one that I've done? It. It. That it was, was a brilliant. good one, innit? When he Because my it, head was huge as we well. We went in, out in Manchester and the amount of people that wanted to take pictures, <laughs> they didn't obviously know who it was because you could not recognise And it's you so at fun. All. That's what's fun about and it. And it was cool. I was a vampire, by the way. Of course. My sister went as a skeleton. Mm. Uh, and then Sabika went as a wicked witch and yeah, I did Sabika a makeup. Was brilliant. No, I That's helped her. I told her to the makeup and I gave her the little outfit. She's a wicked witch and it was brilliant. Mm. Because obviously you did it, but me and my sister just wanted to be cute. But this is it. Like Halloween's not cute. But I would, I my favorite one is the, the cape that you're wearing. I did the cult leader where I had like all the veins. Um, I wanted to do the, you know, the upside down cross or the star, or whatever. Do you but know I what you need to do? Much. Satanic. Voldemort. I would love to do Voldemort. You've not done Voldemort. I would love yet. to do Voldemort. I just think it's a lot of work in it. And the, the thing is, like, I did the. Do you remember the smiler I did with the uh, the eyes? Yeah, that was brilliant. that was good, innit? That I, was creepy. He turned up at my house and I was like, Shabazz, oh. you just, I can't look at you when I'm speaking to you. Like, I had to look away every time I spoke to him. Do you remember the year when I did the melted? You remember because me and you went out in it. Yeah, I did yeah. the melted eye with the bullet wound and the yeah. oh, burnt grim. skin. That was grim. But I love Halloween. I love dressing up. My question to you is, what what costume? Is not Halloween. Sorry, not having it. Bunnies. Right. Okay. A bunny rabbit what, is not I, Halloween. Yeah. If you're a nurse, it's not Halloween. Unless you're like a, a dead gory nurse. dead nurse. I think with the current state of the world and the climate, I don't think gory, especially like like we. I had some Halloween stuff that I'd bought over the years, and there was like some stuff with like a severed hand and and that and I just Not didn't right feel now. like I, mm-hmm. it was appropriate so there was that but like the ghosts and the ghouls and the the goblins and the demons yeah, like that's... goblins you know what I mean and the the demon <laughs> I was going for like a a hocus pocus like, yeah, yeah I like it sister. I like it it's kind of giving me witch what am I <laughs> you're like mother witch gothel in witch in it no you're mother gothel when she gets old <laughs> <laughs> Sticking in my face. Flintstones is not Halloween. Absolutely not. Any Disney thing is not Halloween, um, apart from unless you're a villain. If you're a Disney villain, but like you have to be like Mother Gothel, like you are. Do you have to be like the dead version of it? Yeah. I think that's like, for example, if you're going to do a nurse, be a dead nurse. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, really, and go full on. Like, I've seen people do where they've like had needles in their faces and stuff. Yeah, like, that's, that's pretty really cool. Really cool makeup. That's... One thing I do not want to see. And I haven't seen it so far, and I if I see it, I will be fuming. Is I don't want to see the Menendez brothers because we, you know that because of the Netflix thing, people are gonna dre- go dress. What we dressed as, we dressed as the Menendez brothers. But that's I don't want to see that. Up, that's just oh no, but people do it. So they did yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer, they've yeah, done that's Stranger just, Things, mm. and like, but they I did get Game it. of Thrones. I, I get remember? it because it is very like scary. And remember when? Do you know that? What I'll tell you what. Every girl, I'm just gonna look down the lens. <laughs> if you go to Halloween. As a woman dressed as Harley Quinn and you oh. make your boyfriend dressed as the Joker, <laughs> you need a quiet word with yourself and you're going to stay in. You need a loud every word with yourself. Year, every year you There's see like the girl. Hal- Harley She'll be like Harley Quinn down, and then you'll the get his like... He'll... Do you know why? Because Harley Quinn is the most simplest thing you can ever be. Because you can just do makeup it's and easy, do the hair. Easy. And then the girl, guys, they want to look like, oh, I want to put the thing in and I want to look like tattoos and stuff. They want to slick yeah. their hair back and just do it green. Job done, innit? Yeah. No one goes like, look at me, I'm cross-dressing witch. Exactly. You know what I mean? No one wants to go like full ball to the wall. I love <laughs> Halloween. What controversial outfits that you do not want to see or you think are not appropriate? Because obviously we've moved on in time. What do you not want to see? Bullet holes. Mm-hmm. Not That's cool. That's controversial. People's heads hanging off. Not cool. Anything. I don't know about people's heads. I, I, I get no. with the current world yeah. uh, that, right now. But I think... That's what that's I cancel go- right now. Yeah, but I think it's ghosts like... 
zombie and all that. That is that look, isn't it? The zombie look of the uh, broke, like whatever. What I don't want to see, I don't want to see like blackface. I'm sorry, if you are not... Are people still doing that? There are still people that go dressed as like black In 2024. Mm. If that is you, have a loud talk with yourself. Yep. I beg you all the pardon with that. Right. Now, the thing is, what we also don't want to see is we don't want to see cultures. I don't want to see you dressed in a sari or a or a jasmine outfit if you are not of that, that culture. Is that, that is that a thing. Like, no, like oriental, out, like, or they, they do Chinese geisha outfits. Yeah. No. No. What if they're appreciating it? No, because you're not appreciating it because you're going for Halloween dressed as a... That's not appreciation, love. That's they want to appreciate it. I'm not... Halloween. I'm culturally appropriate. <laughs> Do you know there'll be people in the comments going, yeah, but you're culturally appropriate in my religion, Wicca, because obviously witches and all that, you're culturally appropriating. So, yes, I am. Shut up. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> but no, I would say, like, those kind of outfits, nuns, priests, popes... Unless you're nun. The nun. Yeah. But even nun. then, you're wearing a religious garment and... That's like saying the nurses are going to come for you because you're wearing a nurse's outfit. No, no. But religious garments, just we we need to just move away from being religious people, innit? Where do you draw the line? What if your partner goes as like the girl from Exorcist and you're the priest? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's not even even know, Sophie. No. <laughs> what other controversy? Uh, Mahatma Gandhi. I don't want to see anyone going No, I do what? I don't want anyone going. Like, don't go dressed as a celebrity. Don't go dressed as a cartoon character because that's just not cute. But I think if you oh, do the, unless you do the full makeup, like some people do Betty Boop and like, remember when Heidi yeah, Klum did nah, Betty Boop yeah. where she did the full lips and the eyelids were all the up here. She fully did prosthetics. Understandable. Yeah, but you're just dressing up then, aren't you? But that's That's just Halloween. dress up. That's not Halloween as you that's can not, say. That's fancy dress. That's what I mean. That's what you meant. Yeah. That's fancy dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dress yeah. up. Fancy dress, love. Let's <laughs> dress up. Let's dress up. Fancy <laughs> dress, yeah, I agree. So I think don't go as anything that isn't doesn't constitute as horror, Halloween, ghost, goblin. Yeah. If you want to go as Sophie is the goblin, go as Sophie the goblin, you know what I mean? That too yeah. is also... I'll okay. give everyone a pass to dress like <laughs> me. me. The <laughs> goblin. The witch. The gannet. I'm the fourth sister. Since it's Halloween... I feel like we needed the mood. We needed the cue the lighting. Never mind. The lighting doesn't work. <laughs> but what we need is <laughs> cue the lighting. We need to hire someone for the lighting. Lighting, you know, we need to just uh think. <laughs> Since it's Halloween, what have you got for me, Sophie? Halloweeny. Have you got any Halloween stories for me? I have. Have you? I've got two Halloween stories. The first Halloween story I've got for you is the Hello Kitty unaliving. Right, go on. Can we say that? I think we can say the Halloween. Right, FYI, it's a Halloween special. We're gonna talk murder. <laughs> he said it. So Halloween, unconscious forever. Unconscious forever. That's Perfect, it. Right. Halloween. No, it's not Halloween. It's Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Yeah. So basically, there was this woman, right? And uh, she... what can I just? I'm gonna interrupt. Don't you. interrupt my story. The reason why Don't. is because is this like your Moroccan doll where something got possessed by Hello Kitty? No, this is a true on... story. Hello Kitty possessed. No. Okay, fine. Well, if you let me finish the story, fine, Shabazz. Go. We won't be here till next Halloween, will we? Go on. Anyway, so there was a lady who was. I just drooled. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Excuse Shabazz for. Is manners. Anyway, there was a ha there was a Halloween. There was a lady who was who grew up in a children's home when she was younger. When she was fifteen, she got kicked out. Right. I don't need a backstory. Just get on with it. No, you need to understand the oh, journey sorry, sorry. she was. Uh, like, sorry. how rude. Sorry. I mean, people, just let me know. Rude. Right. Go on. Very rude. So there's a lady mm. who was in a children's home. When she was 15, she got kicked out. When she got kicked out, she turned to substance abuse. When she turned to substance abuse, she met someone. Right, I I'm thought you were gonna really say, fast, right? No, because I thought you were going to say, when she turned 15, when she got kicked out, she turned 16. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> duh. Um, yeah. go on. Anyway, so she turned to substance abuse. Met this guy. She ended up having a child with this guy. And then she turned... I don't know why that was the most shocking part of the story. <laughs> <just in> my face. <laughs> that is not the Halloween story. Sorry. Anyway, so she's met this guy. Mm. Had a child with him. He was also a substance abuser. She separates from him and now she needs to work to make money. So what does she go to? She does the work. You know what kind of work I'm street talking work. about? Street work. Street working. That's the word. Anyway, she goes you street working. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Anyway, Absolutely. Go. Anyway. So there's a client that she always had and she ended up stealing something from him. So this guy obviously remembered and I expected her to pay, pay 
Ian back. Oh, so she, she stole something from one of her street she, working clients. One from one mm. of her big clients, and he's Ooh, big street worker. Yeah, mm. she was big, big. She was making the sh money. Sh oh, money. so she went street working, then she was partying. She and was road working because she <laughs> was always small. She was motorway working, <laughs> highway <laughs> working, highway <laughs> worker. Anyway, so <laughs> sorry, go on. So anyway. She, he then ca catches her doing this. So she asks her to pay him back with interest. She doesn't mm. have the interest money. So she pays him back, but she doesn't have the interest money. Mm. So then he kidnaps her. When he kidnaps her, they do awful things to her. Absolutely. She gets tortured. This poor woman who's just trying to live her best life gets tortured. And then the girlfriend to one of the guys that she gets tortured from is only 14 and not grim. She then goes to the police and says, there's a lady who's been kidnapped and this is what's happened to her. Do you know what? I'm so sorry. Yeah. I've not followed anything you've just said. It is such a long story. Like, she's a street worker. She's a street worker. Stole some money. And one of the money. clients wanted to... She yeah. stole some money. But I don't understand why you started talking about the girlfriend of the person who's 14 and all that. I just don't know because what you said. Shabazz. <laughs> that is so Focus. Rude. Like, so are you sorry. using your ears? I'm so sorry. That is so rude of me. I don't know why I did it. very rude. Right, go on. It just ruins everything. So, 14... So anyway... So the fourteen-year-old goes to the who police. Who is this fourteen-year-old? She's a girlfriend of one of the guys who tortures her. It's not that hard to follow. Everyone's following, aren't they? Mm. Yes, they are. I can see everyone nodding at me. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's following. What about the listeners? Besides Shabazz, you can hear them, but nodding. I can hear the nods, <laughs> and I can see the nods. <laughs> go on, anyway. Anyway, so the fourteen-year-old goes to the police, says this is what's happened. They go to check the place. Obviously, she's been dismembered <gasps> and cooked. 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 Oh, you could have left that out. Yeah, she's Let's been, uh, they've not cooked go there. Her so they can't find any smells or anything, right? They put the skull of her in a giant Hello Kitty doll. That's why it's called Hello Kitty Murder. <laughs> this is a true story, Shabazz. Why are you laughing? This is a grim true crime story. Censored. Beep. Because why? what is wrong with you? What? I, <laughs> I wasn't there. I didn't. Do what do you mean? What's wrong with me? This is a true oh, crime wait, story. Why would you bring that up? I thought she was going to have that nice, nice Halloween story about like ghosts and demons. She's talking about some woman who got caught, killed, cooked, and her skull got put into Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty doll. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> what happens if we don't do cutesy Halloween? But I'm sorry. Grim. Listen. That's Halloween for you, mate. Listen, that ain't Halloween. That, that is Halloween. Sophie is... Sophie has issues. Like, this woman's got issues. Like, can I, I tell you one, right? Let's go in. with actual halloween -y, right? So, there was a woman, right? And what happened was, um, she had turned... She was driving home from work really late. Is this I, your story? Mm, mm. True story. I know this girl, right? And she was driving home one day, really late at night, and she was going through, like, countryside, countryside lanes, right? Yeah. Like, A666, if you live near Blackburn, right? Countryside lanes, really Speaking. dark, Speaking. really scary, and everything, right? Everything and everything. So she's in the countryside lane. She turns the radio. The radio comes on and it's like, oh, there's someone that's escaped from somewhere. The, please be on the lookout and, you know, stay from safe where? or whatever. Where Police escaped? station, uh, mental asylum, whatever version of that you want because whatever, <laughs> insert here. <laughs> Shabazz doesn't really know the story. No, no, He's I saying do. insert here because he <laughs> made this up on the spot. No, I, Is this oh, real? I'm not, it's a true story. Okay. I can't remember what it was, but if it's America, because obviously I want to be relatable. So if you're listening to it in America, then they escaped from a mental asylum. For if you're in the UK, that doesn't happen, does it, right? If it's, if they've not, they've not escaped from a mental asylum. Wrong, if it's the UK, they just <laughs> They wouldn't escaped. rehab, no, no, it's not even re We don't even do rehab <laughs> Exactly. Here. They escaped from the Bobby down the street. Yeah, exactly. So, mm -hmm. Anyway, so they're at the cops, right? So they escape from the cops and whatever. She's like, none of my concern. Not my clown, not my circus. Do not care. Carried on it's driving down. Not the, my monkeys, not yeah, my circus. No, it's not my clown, not my circus. But anyway, moving down, she's going down the con <laughs> uh, countryside lane and then she realises that she's running down petrol and she's thinking, I've got another like stretch of countryside lane to happen, right? I ain't about to go down that countryside lane. Which also what I wanted to ask you, right? If you were driving down countryside lane and somebody you ran somebody over, would you stop for them or would you carry no, on driving? No, I'm going. <laughs> I'm, well. I'm sorry. I'm going. I'm ringing the police. I'm bringing I'm the police going. back with I'm me. I'm ringing the police on the way there. Hello, I'm driving. I know I shouldn't be on my phone. I know it's illegal. But yeah. also, what else is illegal is I've just knocked someone <laughs> over. Sorry, I can't stop. I fear for my life. I'm so, absolutely. I'm sorry. I'm not stopping because no. I'm not stopping if for them. If you see... A child on the side of the road in the middle of a dark country lane. Oh, are you going to stop for the do child? Don't because I get really. Uh... I don't know why we've gone off this story. But yeah, it but wasn't no, making sense. If... <laughs> no, I'm going to go back to it. But if you saw, if you saw a child, oh, that's a do you know what? One. I work with children all the time, 
and it is my duty to stop for a child. Uh, but I'm sorry. Hell no, I'm not stopping. If I'm driving down Haslund and Moors. Mm. If I'm driving down A triple six and there's some child in it, what firstly what you do in there? I will. I'll take a but picture. Imagine, imagine and I'll that ring child the needs police. your help. No, I'll take a picture. I'll ring the police and be like, "This is a kid. Is there any missing kids in the local area? I, I found think him. He's maybe there. I'd stop and I'd like no. leave the doors locked. And I'd be like, "I'll go get help." What if he? Smashed? Maybe I'll I'll, no. I'll put the window down. No, no, no. I as I'm no, driving past, driving. and I'll just shout, "I'll go get help!" Hi. Thing is, my what my thing isn't about child. Mine is if you physically knocked somebody over, you ran them over, and then would you stop for them? No, I just told you I wouldn't. I'm going to the Go to the next end. Exit. Fine, yeah, yeah. yeah. So right. Point proven, right? So this woman's like, I don't want to stop, right? So she's driving back from late night. She's found out that some she's heard it on the radio, carries on driving, thinks I need to stop. So she pulls out into like another t- small town and sees a petrol station. So she's like, Well, I'll go fill up. So she fills up the petrol station, she fills up, fills up, and then goes inside to pay. Now as she goes as she goes inside to pay, she's thinking the guy's a bit strange, right? He's giving me weird vibes plus I'm in the middle of nowhere who's giving a weird vibes the petrol station man the pump man right mm. uncle okay he's giving a weird, weird vibes uncle right? <laughs> he's giving a weird vibes right? Uncle? Yeah, yeah like uncle right so he's giving a weird vibes right he's like hillbilly looking and she's seen too many wrong turns and you know all those kind of movies she's like absolutely not she pays for petrol and then he's got a stutter I'm not going to do the stutter because I think it's a bit disrespectful but he's got a stutter so he's trying to expl- say something to her and she's going mm weird vibes right so he comes round he locks the door and he then launches towards her and she thinks hell to the north so she grabs like I don't know prone cocktail Chris or whacks him on the head with it right if or you're something. in America it's probably just Doritos, Doritos. she grabs something or she grabs, I don't want to give you like she does. She grabs something throws, throwing it at him throwing it at him he like obviously flinching she runs out runs out, uh, runs out jumps in a car and drives off right and then a couple of days later, they find the car abandoned in the middle of nowhere, a couple of miles down from there. Did you catch up to her? No. A couple of miles down, she, she's dead. She's dead, in it? The woman is dead. Yeah, I got that the first listen, dead that you told me. Listen, there's blood. What do you mean? There's blood over all the seats. There's an axe. Nobody. Door so don't unlocked. stop at a petrol station mm. in the middle of a town. But the petrol station man is being questioned. <gasps> and he says the reason he stopped her from leaving the store, which is all captured on CCTV, because he saw somebody get into the back seat of her car. But the man had a stutter, so he was trying to explain that to her. But she didn't listen. She's disrespectful. People have rights, you know. And that's why she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wrong for my story. So the moral Come of the story it. is... She did. I've got one last story Go for on. you. In high school, I had this friend, right? And her dad was a taxi driver, yeah? Mm. And there's a road, Salmsbury Hall, White, white lady. lady. He's seen White Lady. <gasps> My dad's the friend ba- had that. But what I want to ask you is why? And I've heard a lot of stories. Why is everyone's dad... Who drives a taxi? <laughs> in the white lady. Because I've not seen no, it. No, my dad's friend who drives there, a taxi. At night. And listen, my dad's friend who was driving a taxi, right? Picked Is up it a woman. the same guy? Is mm, it called Sal? I think so. Maybe I'll ask my dad. This man, right, was <laughs> probably driving. not even the same guy. It probably isn't. <laughs> this man was driving back, right, and this wasn't uh, around Salisbury Hall. Um, although people say there's a lot of accidents that happen around Salisbury Hall because yeah, they, they say do. the white lady and this isn't just random white woman she wears all white and she's got white hair and everything like, yeah. it's not just I think yeah. every version of it. do you know down south I remember my cousin talking to me about the black lady and like there's another woman that the red lady and I was like so we How just we just assign colours to oh my <laughs> god the like, you're the white lady they call her the white lady because she's a ghost isn't it she's a ghost no but she's also like pale she's dead her hair's white she wears a white so wedding like dress got the white she wears a white wedding dress yeah 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 <laughs> so what happened was this woman basically she my dad's friend I don't know if this is a true story I'm not going to lie to you right, my dad's friend basically was driving back from uh Preston. On, no, <laughs> he wasn't on South Hall. Oh, right, okay. He was he was a taxi driver and he was he was dri- driving at night and he was about to go home, right? And he saw a woman on the side of the road who was sailing down and he was like, "Are you okay, love?" And she was like, "Yeah." That's the same story. Right, listen. So then she said she got in the car and she said that can you please drop me off? And when he said where, and he looked in the back and she no, wasn't no, there. No, 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 no. He said where? She said, "Can you drop me off to the graveyard?" And he's thinking, 
No, different story. This different is story. odd, right? Why does she want to be dropped off to the graveyard? Mine didn't go but to the graveyard. But he's thinking, right? He's thinking, right? Well, whatever. I'll go to the graveyard, I'll drop her off. So he goes to the graveyard. At night. Yeah, at night. Well, it's not his but, problem. It's yeah, not my problem. Not my circus. We don't... Yeah, but he's dropping her outside. Way, no. He's not going to go in there and he's oh, going to drop right, her outside. Because, yeah, yeah. you know, Blackburn thinking you've got to go all that out. So he's like, I'll drop her there. So she goes, just drop me outside. It's fine. So he's like, all right, cool. Dropped her out. By the time he was chatting to her, he was like, what are you going for? She goes, I'm going to see my husband. And she probably, he probably thought, oh, the husband's probably there, like w waiting for her or whatever. She said, yeah, he's waiting for me. Anyway, and then she got when she got there, she turned around and said, he said, also, oh, uh, how old's your husband? And she said, he's been dead for 30 years. Oh, so she's going to visit her husband. Oh, bless her. But he, no. What? We died 30 years ago. We died. Mm. So then when she turned around, I would run. When, she, when he turned around and looked, she was gone. gone. And what was left was just money. Come off it. Come off it. She did not have money. She, she tapped the card reader. He heard the ding. <laughs> no. So this ghost managed to have a card. Yeah, because if you if you update the story in 2024, wow. I see it years ago when it was changed. But so, no now, one changed. so now she's using contactless, guys. <laughs> so don't be afraid. If you see the white lady, she's going to leave you some money. At least she's paying so for the... Just take her No, she paid for the... But how scary is that? Like, okay, I, did, I think I might have added the card reader thing. I think in. you might have added a lot yeah, to no, that. No, but how scary is that? Because he swore that blind that this woman... That was the same it wasn't a mine. white lady situation. It was just a normal woman that he just said that dropped off. And she said, she said to Towards the end of his journey, he was looking at was watching her, and she just said, "Oh, yeah, we died thirty years ago." He was like, "Oh, so he, she goes, he goes." Mine is very similar to that. So yeah, so he saw mine. That. He picked her up. She mm. needed a lift, mm. and ten minutes later, he looked in the mirror because he was like having a conversation, and she wasn't there. Gone. Poof. You know, every time I drive Poof. past Sonsbury Hall at night, I, I don't look, look in the, in the mirror. Seat. I look in the back seat. I'm so you do. Scared. I'm terrified. I don't I do. look in it. I turn all my lights on, so that I can see everything in the car. I don't want no shadows in my car. No, she no, could be lurking I, I in the shadows. I don't even look up at my mirror. This is terrible. This is making me really scared. And I'm going to drive home, right? And I'm really going to be scared. It's dark outside. It's dark outside. I'm scared. It's Halloween. But no, I. Uh, that is uh, the scariest thing. I also have another one. I've got a couple of minutes, right? I'll tell you another one. So there was this girl, right? And she was with her boyfriend. And they were basically watching a movie in a car. So the Netflix and chilling in the Let's car. Let's be clean. Netflix and chilling without Listen, the children. We've got children listening. They were watching a movie in the car and eating food, right? They were having takeaway in the car, you know, like a nice little... Did you just movie. say... Oh, a minute, side note. Did you say we have children listening? We've just talked about murders. People dying. People getting kidnapped. I'm going to have to put this episode as explicit. Yeah. Mm. Unless you unless you're like me as a child and you watch I should have put I should have put a uh, thingy explicit and uh, NSFW, not safe for work. I knew you were thinking, oh, well, then I don't know because you're thick. Um, anyway, this is listen, right? No, sorry. Anyway, listen. So there's a boyfriend and girlfriend driving down countryside. They, no, they're not. And that's the wrong story. I've mixed two together. <laughs> there was a boyfriend and girlfriend. Netflix and, they, and chilling. Mm, they yeah. parked up. They're watching a the movie. Just having something to eat, right? Just chilling. And then the car wouldn't start. After they finished eating, the car wouldn't start. Mm -hmm. And he's like, the car's not starting. And she's going, what are we going to do? Like panicking, panicking, panicking. Why? Because the car's not starting, isn't it? Panicking. So he goes, yeah, so he goes, I saw... When we were, there's a petrol station literally a couple of miles down, right? We, know, we like they live in the local area. It's not yeah. a shocking secret. We know where the petrol station is. So I'll just go down to the petrol station. She goes, "You're not leaving me." He goes, "Look, listen. Somebody needs to stay in the car because it's parked in the middle of nowhere, and somebody's going to end up crashing into it. So stick the hazards on and, and stay in the car." But he's also I watched said, this on the Vampire mm, Diaries. No, it's not Vampire Diaries. So he said that <laughs> he said that he also eh, there's a spider in my hair. There was a spider in your I hair. I just all noticed along. that. Eh, that's grim. Who would do that? I thought you put it in there. No, I didn't. Effect. Anyway, um, so <laughs> they, the boyfriend and girlfriend in the car, they mind their own business. He's gone then out, left her, locked the doors. So absolutely, stay in the footwell, which is what I would do. Because once all the lights go on, stay you're in the in footwell. Because if you sit in the footwell, I know it's uncomfortable, but I'd rather not. Somebody looks in the car and sees, they're going to go, the car's empty in it. Otherwise... I'd just go under the blanket. No, no, no. What you do is you stay in the footwell. So she's in the footwell and she's like hiding in there. And after a couple of minutes, she starts to hear like a scraping sound. Like a... Right? Tapping, scraping. She starts to hear like... And like a tapping, tapping, tapping. Tap, tap, tap. She's thinking, what is going on? Like like a proper tap. Like, 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 you know, like this. <laughs> Somebody's that thing is scraping inside a car. She starts hearing noises and she's thinking, what is it? What is it? After a couple of minutes, I'll it stops. i petrified. Oh, screaming. I think I'd pass out. Absolutely. Just from the thoughts right? I would, be, I would be permanently induced in a coma. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, that of that where you will right so anyway yeah. <laughs> she's then obviously terrified she's thinking what is going on what is going on mm. next minute three hours go by 
No one boyfriend hasn't returned. So she's thinking, right. Three hours. Mm. I think I'd be suspicious after no, half no. an hour. No, so no. Her phone doesn't. She's got no reception. They're in the middle of nowhere. So she can't ring. So she's gone to sleep, right? And she's woken up and it's three hours later. There's cops everywhere. When the cop knocks on the window and uh, she opens the door and says, coppers everywhere. She's gone to sleep. Yeah, no, she's like waited, waited, waited and then thought, right, she's knocked off. She's just not realised and knocked off. Anyway, coppers have knocked on her window. Knock, 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 right? Coppers, police. Can we? Can you open the door? Da, da, da. She's got out. When she's got out, the police officers grabbed her and gone. Oh, we don't want you to look back. Just keep looking forward and keep walking. Just keep walking. But curiosity got the better of her. That what? When that she would do turned that around, me. the boyfriend was hung from this tree, and the noise was his legs as he was fighting for his life. That's awful. Because he was dead. He was dead. Yeah, we got it the first day, you said. <laughs> God's sake. So happy Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that is uh, Halloween. That's the Halloween special over and done with. And I think those were some good Halloween stories. They were. If you have uh, nightmares, don't have nightmares. <laughs> no, let me give better advice. That's great advice, for us. <laughs> Just don't have. If nightmares. you have, if you have been affected by anything that we have talked about, please go see a counselor or ask for help. And he genuinely means that. I know he sounds sarcastic. No, right it now. did. It came across sarcastic. And also, don't have nightmares. Remember, it's Halloween. It's supposed to be cutesy. You can go dressed as a goblin, or you can go dressed as whatever you want. Or you could be like Mother Gothel, like just Shabazz. don't be offensive. Anyway, thank you so don't much for watching. Don't be offensive. Don't be offensive. Like, there's not got dressed as offensive people in it. Oh yeah, don't be offensive. That's don't not cute. Offensive. That's not cutesy. No. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you had a fantastic episode. Thank you once again, Sophie, for joining me. You're welcome. I'm just going to have some of my cordial because I'm a bit parched. But you, thank you so much, for Sophie, for joining me. And thank you guys for watching. Wherever you get your Apple podcast. No, sorry. Wherever you get your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> wherever you get your apples from. Dunk them in some toffee. Yeah. Wherever you get your podcast from, whether it's Apple, Spotify, or wherever you're listening Stream to. Stream it from anywhere. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you give a thumbs up, like, share it with your friends, comment, do the rest. Press and the bell. Next week, we'll be back to square one, normal video. No Halloween special. Halloween will be over. So send in your confessions and we put them up. Definitely. Definitely send us confessions because I missed that this week. We should have asked I told for you Halloween th confessions. What was the Halloween confession? Ooh. I can't think off the top of mm. my head. But something that's scary. You can't think. Full stop. Um, by the way, just to explain, <laughs> guys, Shabazz is always joking, by the way. So do not Yeah, feel but sorry you leave it. It's such an awkward pause when I say a joke. It's, yeah. It kills my joke. And also, at the same time, it makes you look like a victim that you're not. Anyway. <laughs> I'm like, and then I laugh. Anyway. I pause, then I laugh. <laughs> anyway, listen, hope you had a brilliant episode. I hope you enjoy Halloween, whatever it is that you do. Be Have safe. Have a great and... time. Carve those pumpkins. Oh, yeah. I give all, give out those sweets. Oh, sweets. Do you know what I've been craving? That's lately? what we missed, innit? Remember we remember we meant to get a bowl do you, of sweets. Do you know what I'm uh, craving? And you told me you were going to get them. Candy corn. No. Candy corn. What are we Americans? <laughs> I've had it. It's vile. Candy corn. It's vile. I've had it. It's vile. vile. I want some gummy worms. I've just been craving gummy worms. Really have. Okay, this is where you come back with something, Jamal. Bloody hell. <laughs> Looks I was like thinking I'm about crazy. it, like, why would you crave gummy worms? Do you know what I, I don't want? know why, and I'm I not want, a sweet... Do you want sweet, Colin the Caterpillar? Colin the Caterpillar, mm, no. I love Colin. What do you mean, Colin? The Colin the Caterpillar, the, caterpillar, the, the sweets. No, Colin the Caterpillar, the sweets. Oh, they do sweets? Oh, come on. Anyway, enjoy your Halloween, whatever it is that you're going to get up to. Be safe and... Always stay safe. Don't have nightmares. <gasps> Ooh, cue the lightning. Oh, it works! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.